Good morning, children. Uh, today is a Wednesday, 29th of April 2020. Okay. Uh, what's the weather like today? Well, today we have a fantastic weather. It's a beautiful, sunny, sunny day. Okay. So enjoy, enjoy this day because it's a wonderful day to to walk in the street with your parents, okay, or with your sisters or brothers. Well, uh, we start the classroom today and uh, open your classbook, your activity book and your notebook, okay? And the first thing we are going to do is please write the date in the notebook. Write the date in the notebook with blue pen, okay? Skip one line, te saltas una línea, you skip one line and you write the date in, in the notebook with blue pen. Okay, come on, do it now. Ok, now you have written the date, ya que has escrito la fecha, now you have written the date, go to your class book, page number 46, go to the class book, page number 46, this page you have here, ok, page number 46 is the, the lesson 6, vocabulary and grammar, ok, can you see there is a picture here, in this picture, in this picture we have new words uh, we are going to learn new words one two three four five 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 new words we are going to learn eh? so please the first activity the activity number one is listen you point in your book and repeat okay repeat for the pronunciation with good pronunciation very clear and repeat hmm? ready come on listening 87 Listen, point, and repeat. Repeat. One. One. Coat. Coat. Repeat with the teacher. Come on. Two. Two. Scarf. Scarf. Remember, this word is important. Don't say a scarf. A scarf, no. Because there is no E. No hay una E ahí, ¿verdad? There is no an E. La mentirosa no está aquí, ¿verdad? There is no an E. Se dice serpiente, como una serpiente. Scarf. Snake, ¿recordáis? Small, como si no lleva la E, no la lleva, ¿de acuerdo? Number one, coat. Number two, scarf. Scarf. Scarf means bufanda, ¿ok? Scarf, uh, this is a colorful scarf. And number three. 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 Jeans. Repeat. Jeans. Jeans, vaqueros. Jeans, vaqueros. The teacher, eh? the teacher wears jeans almost every day at school. Yo llevo vaqueros casi siempre en el cole, ¿lo recordáis? Eh? I'm wearing jeans when I go to school. And you sometimes uh, wear, wear jeans when you go uh, um, when you go with your parents uh, for a walk. Cuando vais con vuestros papás para, para caminar, you are wearing jeans. Eh? Jeans are very common and very comfortable for people. Son muy cómodos para la gente. Your parents, I am sure that they are wearing jeans. Vuestros padres seguro que llevan jeans también. ¿eh? So, repetimos. Coat, scarf, jeans. And we go with the number four. Four. Shorts. Attention. No short. Morro fuera. Shorts. Shorts. Shorts means pantalones cortos. Shorts, pantalones cortos. Shorts, repeat, okay? The sound, remember, shh, like the silence. Shh. Shorts, shorts. And finally, finally, number five. 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 Boots. Boots, 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 botas. Boots is very similar to the Spanish word, yes? No se parece un poco a la palabra español. Repeat with the teacher. Coat, scarf, jeans, shorts, boots, boots. Okay? Now it's very easy. These words are very easy. Now we have like a game, okay? We have like a game. The activity number two is listen and you say the word, okay? The recording says a number. La grabación te dice un número. The recording says you a number. And you look for the number and say the word. For example, if the recording says 
Number two. You say number two, number two. Scarf, scarf. Okay? Come on, ready? Very easy. Listening 88. Listen and say the word. Say the word. Five. Come on, what is the number five? What is the number five? Yes, boots. Number five, boots. Two. Number two? Come on, you. Okay, scar. Four. Number four? Yes, short, short. One. Number one? Coat. Coat. Abrigo. Coat. Three. Number three? Jeans. Okay. So, what? Well, it's a very, very easy activity for you because you are very intelligent. You are very intelligent. Now, what we are going to do? Very easy. Now, in your notebook, in your notebook, you write in the middle, under the date, debajo de la fecha, you write vocabulary. Esta misma palabra la escribís en azul. Write vocabulary with blue pen, okay? Because we are going to write in the notebook the five words we have learned today. Vamos a escribir estas cinco palabras en el cuaderno. You know how to do it. Ya sabes cómo hacerlo. Coat, con azul, una rayita, y con lápiz, abrigo. Scarf, with blue pen. And bufanda with pencil. Jeans, vaqueros. Shorts, uh, with blue pen. Pantalones cortos with pencil. Boots, botas. And you write with pencil, botas. Okay? So the English words with blue pen. And the Spanish translation with pencil. I give you, te doy, I give you maybe five minutes to complete these words in your notebook. Okay? The date. Write it. The date it's written. La fecha ya la hemos escrito. The date is written. Under the date, in the middle of the page, write vocabulary with blue pen. And you underline with the ruler and with the red pen. And then, later, you copy the five words and the translation into Spanish. Y luego copias las palabras con su traducción a español. Las palabras en inglés con azul, flechita y la traducción en español. Con lápiz. Come on, stop the video, para el video, and write the words in your notebook. Come on, <laughs> come on, champion. <laughs> well, now we continue. Suppose you have finished, yes or no? You have finished, you have copied the, the words in the notebook, and we go on with activity number two. Activity number two is very simple too. But you have to pay attention, okay? Because it's a listening activity. It's a listening activity. Hmm? Listen and say the number. Escucha y di el número. Listen and say the number. Which number? ¿Qué número? O number one, o number two, number three, o number four, o number five, o number six. Can you see there is a picture, a big box. Hay una caja grande. There is a big box with... One, one, two, three boys and one, two, three girls. Three boys and three girls are here. And total six. Six children. I say niños en total. Tres chicos, three boys and three girls. And they are wearing, y llevan puesto, they are wearing different clothes. They are wearing different clothes. So you have to pay attention. You must pay attention to the recording because they describe the children's clothes. And then you have to guess which, uh, which, child, which child it is. Okay? Which child it is. Tenéis que descubrir por la descripción que te dan cuál de ellos es. Por ejemplo. ¿Qué vamos a usar? Muy importante. Antes de nada. ¿Veis que pone? Dice el chico aquí. He's wearing jeans. And a yellow scar. Number three. They are playing a game. Vale, pues nosotros antes de hacer esto vamos a hacer el de escuchar. Para adivinar de qué niño hablan. ¿eh? Y, y cuidado porque te van a utilizar esto. O he's wearing o she's wearing. 
When do you use he is wearing? Cuando dices, por ejemplo, él lleva. Si hablamos, por ejemplo, de Diego tirado, o hablamos de Carlos Olmo, o de Infante, o hablamos de Samuel, o hablamos de quien sea, decimos, él lleva, he is wearing, ¿de acuerdo? Y si hablamos, por ejemplo, de Paula Poza, o hablamos de Pepi, o hablamos de, ¿qué te voy a decir yo?, de todas las niñas guapas que tenemos en el cole, ¿eh? diremos, she is wearing, ¿de acuerdo? He is wearing, él lleva puesto. She is wearing, ella lleva puesta. Repetir conmigo, he is wearing, ¿vale? Y ahora, she is wearing. Muy bien, ¿de acuerdo? Eh, pues venga, ¿preparados? ¿Ready? Listen. Listening 89. Listen and say the number. Say the number. Listen and repeat. One. One. He's wearing blue jeans and a yellow scarf. Stop. I repeat. Pay attention. Listen and repeat. One. One. He's wearing blue jeans and a yellow scarf. He's wearing blue jeans. He's wearing blue jeans and a yellow scarf. Blue jeans and a yellow scarf. Blue jeans and a yellow scarf. You look for, eh? you look for here. Buscas aquí, you look for here. Blue jeans and a yellow scarf is the number. Yes, the number three, the number three, blue jean, he is, como es un chico, he is wearing blue jeans and a yellow scarf, scarf, okay? So the number three. Next, siguiente. She's wearing blue jeans and green boots. Oh. I repeat. She's wearing blue jeans and green boots. Who is? Who is? The number? Is the number? Come on. Number six. Number six. Number six. Is number six. Eh? She looks like Paula Poza. ¿Se parece a Paula Poza? She looks like Paula Poza. Bueno, Paula Poza más guapa. Pero se parece, ¿eh? She looks like Paula. Okay, it's very funny. So it's the number six, okay? Next. He's wearing red shorts and black boots. Wearing blue jeans and green boots. I repeat. Number three. He's Listen. wearing red shorts and black boots. She's wearing red shorts and black. So is the number black boots, red shorts and black boots is the number one. She's wearing a yellow scarf, a red coat and blue boots. I'll repeat. She's wearing a yellow scarf, a red coat, and blue boots. Okay, remember, she's wearing, ya me está diciendo que es una chica, she's wearing a yellow scarf, a red coat, and blue boots. So, it's the number, yes, it's the number two, it's the number two, she's wearing a, a yellow scarf, a red coat, and blue boots. Go on. He's wearing a green coat, blue boots, and an orange scarf. I repeat. He's wearing a green coat, blue boots, and an orange scarf. He's wearing, so it's a boy, okay? He is wearing, it's a boy. He's wearing a green coat, blue boots, and a yellow scarf. A green coat, blue boots, and a yellow scarf is the number. 
Yes, the number five, number five, blue boots, green coat, and a, and a yellow, uh, uh, yellow, an orange, sorry, an orange scarf, an orange, not yellow, an orange scarf. Uh, next. She's wearing red shorts and a purple scarf. Muy fácil, very easy. She's wearing red shorts and a purple scarf. She's wearing, una chica, she's wearing red shorts and a purple scarf. She's wearing a red shorts, sorry, she's wearing red shorts and a purple scarf. So it's the number. Yes, it's the number four. Number four, red shorts, pantaloncitos cortos, and a purple scarf. Okay. Well, now we have finished. We have finished this page. It's very easy. It's very easy. The only thing you have to bear in mind, you have to remember that he is wearing el lleva puesto. She is wearing ella lleva puesto. How do you say yo llevo puesto? Yes, I'm wearing. For example, I'm wearing a blue jacket. Okay, I'm wearing a blue jacket. And if we talk about the boy, si hablamos de un chico, he's wearing a red uh, scarf. Si hablamos de una chica, she's wearing uh, orange boots, por ejemplo, ¿vale? I'm wearing yo, he's wearing él, she's wearing ella lleva puesto, ¿vale? Wearing, wearing, wearing. Well, now, before... Going to the activity book, antes de ir a la activity, vamos a continuar un poco. Before going to the activity book, we go on with this. I want to go on with the lesson number seven. Number, no, lesson number seven is about the cake machine. Do you remember the cake machine story? Okay, so you go to your class book, page number 47. Class book, page 47. It's about the Rooftop Book Club, hmm? and the story about Clank and the, the, the cake, okay, and everything that we, we have in the book. So, if we go to the book, do you remember the story? Recorre la historia? Well, in this a part of the story, we are going to use this, okay? Remember that Granddad and uh, Ben... Granddad Ben and the and the girl they are preparing a cake in the cake machine with the help of the robot Clank. Hmm? The, this is Clank the robot, eh? Clank the robot, and they are preparing a cake. Hmm? So read with me: three, two, one. Grandpa counts. El abuelo cuenta. Grandpa counts. There is no cake. No hay pastel. There is no cake. Where is it? ¿Dónde está? Where is it? Ask Ben. Pregunta Ben. Where is it? ¿Lo veis que lo pregunta ahí, chicos? Where is it? ¿Dónde está? Where is the cake? Grandpa looks at the machine. Grandpa looks. Mira. Grandpa looks at the machine. Where is the cake? He hits. Mirad qué verbo este de hit. Hit significa golpear. Cuando le haces algo que no funciona, venga, funciona, work, work, funciona. ¿Eh? Pues por eso dice, él, el abuelo, grandpa, hits it, le da un golpe a la máquina, with his hand, con la mano. He hits, ¿eh? he hits it with his hand, para ver si lo arregla. ¿Mm? And what happened then, entonces, here is the cake, says Clang, aquí está el pastel. Says Clang, dice Clang. Here is the cake, ¿lo ves? There is a big explosion, ¿eh? <laughs> the machine, the machine, sorry, the machine uh, bursts. La máquina explota, the machine bursts, and all the cake is, um, you know, in the room, in the kitchen. Uh, this is a strawberry cake, it's a strawberry de fresa. The strawberry cake is, you know, spreading. Spreading in the, in the room. Está esparcido por toda, la, por toda la habitación. Pues esto es lo que vamos a hacer. Recordando esto, vamos a... We come back to the class book. And the question is, what happens next? 
What happened next? Guess and tick. Adivina y ponle un tick. Read the sentence. The cake is very good. The cake is very good. What does it mean? El pastel está muy bueno. Is that true? No, it's not true. The cake is not very good. The cake is horrible. So, no, no, the cake is not good. What about the second picture? The cake isn't very good. The cake isn't very good. El verbo chubil, ¿os acordáis? El pastel no está como es el pastel. Es una cosa, es como si fuera it. It isn't. Eh? It isn't. Pues sería the cake isn't very good. El <laughs> Look at the cake. The cake is black and small. Eh? It's, it's not, a, it's not a, a, a delicious cake. It's something horrible. It's a very bad cake. So it isn't very good. Claro que no es bueno. Pues le ponemos que llevan razón, perdón, vamos a subir un poquito para poder poner, here we are, so we write, yes, this is a tick and this is a cross, very easy, tick and cross, well, now we go on, seguimos, activity number two, in the story we have read the page number 10 and 11, like hemos leído antes, vale, we have read, read and write the number, read and write the number, You have here some little squares in the pictures, and in this square you write the number. What is the number one? What is the number two? And what is the number three? Okay. And then, but first read. Primero leemos, que ya lo hemos hecho. Luego write. Escribimos el número. ¿De acuerdo? Y luego, perdón, escribimos las palabras aquí. Write this word. Where? Cake or one? In these three blanks. Y después nos vamos a estos números. Vamos a empezar por la escritura. We start with the writing, okay? Complete these sentences with the correct word, okay? Complete the sentences, the number one, number two, and number three, with the correct word you have here in the box. Listen and complete. Listening 90. Read pages 10 and 11 of your reader. Three, two, one. Grandpa counts. There is no cake. Where is it? asks Ben. Grandpa looks at the machine. He hits it with his hand. Then... Here's the cake, says Clunk. Okay, very simple. So now we complete. Uh, I give you one minute, or do you minutito? I give you one minute to complete these words, these one, two, three words in the correct sentence, ¿ok? Parar el vídeo y os dejo un minutito para que lo pongáis. Las palabras ahí en su sitio. Ok, it's very easy, so please pay attention. Look, look. Look at the solution of the activity, para que lo veáis escrito y no os equivoquéis. ¿eh? Number one. What is? Number one is... Where is it? Number one is... Where is it? ¿Dónde está? The sentence number two. Three, two. And what have you written? Yes. Number... Number one. Well, no, vamos a hacerlo mejor así, que si no me vais a copiar, que son muy fijotones. No sé fijotones. So, here we write where. Que más se escribe con el ratón, eh. Pero bueno, ¿lo entendéis? Where is it? Ya tenemos esta tachada. Three, two, ah, very easy, and one. And finally... Here is the cake. Qué mal escribo, por favor, con el ratón. Here is the cake, okay? Now we number the pictures. What happens first? ¿Qué pasa primero? What happened first? So that's the number. Number one. Where is it? 
when Ben says, cuando dice el Ben, ¿dónde está? Where is it? The cave. And number two, number two is Grandpa hitting the, the machine. El abuelo dándole a la, a la máquina para ver si funciona. ¿eh? ¿Eh? The grandpa, grandpa hits, hits the machine with his hand. Okay? And number three. Number three, Clank says, here is the cake. Aquí está el pastel. Here is the cake. So number one, number two, and number three. Okay? Complete, correct your, correct your answer. Corrige si lo tienes mal. Correct your answers. And we go on. Y continuamos. Communicate. Para hablar. Listen and repeat. So you listen and you repeat. Listening 91. Listen and repeat. Three, two, one. Three, Where two. is it? Here's the cake. Three, two, one. Where is it? Here is the cake. Tres, dos, uno. Where is it? ¿Dónde está? Here is the cake. Aquí está. Here is the cake. También puedo decir, aquí está la pelota. Here is the ball. Si quieres practicarlo, if you want to act out with your friend is impossible because your friend is not with you but your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister you can act the role play out with them okay act the role play out with your parents or with your sister with your one or one family member for example uh, si tienes por ejemplo a tu papá le dice papi tú haces de ella y yo hago de esta y luego cambiáis vale entonces tú empiezas y le dices three two one and you are, and you are family member y tu miembro de la familia dice where is it y tú le dices here is the no hace falta que enseñes un pastel pero puedes decir here is the ball o sea the ball sorry here is the pen okay o, o el ratón dice here is the mouse of the computer o Here are the glasses. Aquí están las gafas. Oh, here is the uh, here is the notebook. Aquí está el cuaderno. Here is the notebook. So use different objects you have at home. Usa los objetos que tengas en casa, ¿vale, chicos? Well, very easy practice at home. This role play act out. Esto significa represéntalo. Act out with your friend, pero en vez de con tu, con tu amigo, with your parents, con tus padres. ¿Vale? O con tu hermano o tu hermano. O with your brother or sister. And then you change roles. Luego te cambias. Luego haces tú de ella y el otro de otro. Well, now um, we have finished the class book. So you don't close. Don't close the class book. ¿Ok? No lo cerréis. Ponéis encima. ¿eh? Ponéis encima de, de... On the class book you open your activity book. Encima del libro de clase ponéis el activity. Venga. Open your activity book. Vamos al activity I open the activity book. I open the activity book. The activity book. Yeah. No, 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 no. This page, no. Wait a moment. We are first in the lesson number six. In the activity book. Page number 40. Activity one and two. Well, this page is very easy. Okay. So we are, uh, I'm sure that you, 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 You won't have problems with the activity number one and two because they are very easy. Here you have the clothes, okay, the clothes, eh? and you have the letters but this order. And you have to write number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Writing the, the clothes, eh? the clothes names, but uh, order, the, order the letters uh, to form a word. Ordena las letras para formar una palabra. Order the letters to form words. For example, the number one. Number one are genes. Yes or no? So you have to remember. Tienes que recordar. You must remember. Debes recordar. How do you write vaqueros? Genes. G and J E A N S. Okay. Number two, the shorts. Number three, the coat. Number four, mm, and number four, the boots. And uh, my piece of advice. Mi consejo. Don't look at your book. No mires en el libro. Don't look at your book and try to do it without looking at the book. Tratad de hacerlo sin mirar. Y luego veis si habéis fallado mucho al escribir, ¿vale? Pero no lo miréis. Don't look at your classbook. Use your memory. Use your memory and try to write the words without looking at the book. Tratar de escribir las palabras sin mirar al libro, ¿vale? Y luego ya, when you have finished, when you have written the five words, 
you check with your classbook. Cuando terminas, la compruebas, you check with your classbook, con el libro de clase. Uh, do it. Stop the video, para el video, and write the words. Ok, fantastic, fantastic. So, the solution of the activity is this. Look at me, mírame. Preparados, a ver si lo tenéis bien todo. Number one, jeans. Number two, shorts. S H O R T S. Number three, coat. C O A T. Number four, scarf. S C A R F. And number five, boots. B O O T S. Ok, jeans, shorts, coat, scarf, and boots. Check your answers. If you have something wrong, you take your rubber, you delete it, and you rewrite the word perfect. Ok, si tenéis algo mal, lo borráis y lo escribís o reescribís bien. Vale, well, now the activity number two. Activity number two is read and color. Read and color. You color this picture, ok, and look and write. Mira y escribe. Vamos a empezar por esto. Read and color. You have the picture. This. He, because he's a boy, ya os he dicho que es un chico, como Pedro Armarcha, es un chico, ¿eh? o, o como, como muchos niños que tenemos, como Álvaro Alañón, ¿verdad que sí? ¿Eh? Hay un montón de chicos ahí que, que en clase, o como José Ángel, ¿eh? que ha venido nuevo, y dices, he's wearing, como trilla, he's wearing a yellow t-shirt. He's wearing a yellow t-shirt. Pues vale. Miro el dibujo y digo, ah, yellow t-shirt. You color the yellow t-shirt. He's wearing blue shorts. Ah, blue shorts. You color blue shorts in the picture. And he's wearing green boots. You color the boots green. Ok. That's the first part of the activity. Eh, the first part of the activity. You color these three things eh, in the picture. And then the second part of the activity is look and write. Look and write. Mira y escribe. You look at this photo. You look at this picture. There is a girl. Okay. A girl. So we don't say he is wearing. With girls we say she is wearing. He is wearing for boys. She is wearing. For girls, what is she wearing? ¿Qué lleva ella puesta? ¿Qué lleva ella puesto? Ah, tienen que escribirlo, campeones. You write the sentences. Three sentences, ok. Mirad, aquí hemos escrito tres. He's wearing, he's wearing, he's wearing. Pues aquí empezamos tres. She's wearing, she's wearing, she's wearing. With beautiful letters, clean and perfect, without mistake. For example, por ejemplo, yo qué diría aquí? She is wearing, tengo para elegir, mira, boots, jeans, coat, scarf, hat, gloves, guantes, lo que quieras. Por ejemplo, si digo, ella lleva guantes verdes, pues diría, she is wearing, voy a escribirlo, si puedo, sabéis que yo no puedo escribir muy bien. Come on, teacher. She is wearing, first the color, primero el color, eh, chavalitos. She's wearing green. How do you say guantes? We have studied guantes. Green. Gloves. Okay, bien escribo. Ya estoy bien. ¿Eh? Mira, Eric, a que se ha quedado chulo. Mario Fernández, a que se ha quedado chulo esto. ¿Verdad que sí? ¿Eh? Mira qué artista soy. Fíjate, mira. Mira, Diego. Diego, ¿cómo se ha quedado? Diego Parras. She's wearing green gloves. Ok, she's wearing green gloves. Remember, first the color, primero el color, y luego ya la ropa. The color and the clothes. Color and clothes. Madre mía, esto es más fácil. ¿eh? Very, very easy. So, you write three sentences which she's wearing. Ay, well, we have finished, we have finished this page, hemos terminado, we have finished this page, and we come back to the, uh, sorry, 
Lesson number seven. The lesson number seven in the activity book. Go to the page number. Go to the page number forty-one. Forty-one activity. Forty-one activity book. It's about the rooftop book club. About the story of uh, Grandpa Clank and the cake and the and the big uh, strawberry cake. Well. Activity number one is literacy. Este es va sobre lectura, ¿vale? Well, number one, look, mira, look and write. ¿Os acordáis la risa que pasábamos cuando hacíamos así? Porque a algunos se le olvidaba lo que significaba look. Y yo decía, tú acuérdate que es como si fuera un ojo. Ahí le poníamos ahí un punto. ¿eh? ¿A que sí? Como si fuera un ojo. Look, ¿eh? mira, look and write. So, please, vamos a mirar y vamos a escribir. Ah, qué fácil. We, we write one, two, three, four, five words. Hit, eat, count, look for, and ask. Hay cinco palabras. Esta es una solo, ¿eh? Look for. Significa buscar. Ask. Preguntar. Count. Contar. Count, eh? count to ten. One, two, three. Count to twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Eat. Comer, ya lo sabemos. Y hit, lo que hizo la abuela de la máquina, golpear. Pues venga, somos capaces de ponerlo. Hit, golpear. Eat, comer. Count, contar. Look for, buscar. Si, por ejemplo, le quieres decir a tu mamá, mamá, busca mis zapatos. Aunque lo tienes que hacer tú, pero le dices, look for my shoes. Busca mi libro. Look for my book. Busca mi sándwich. Look for my sándwich, please. Cuidado, porque dice alguno, pero teacher, si tú has dicho que look significa ver, mira, ya, solo sí, si está solito sí significa mira, pero si viene con esta palabra que es for, ya significa buscar. Look, eh? look at me, mírame. Pero si viene con for, look for es buscar. No se os olvide, chicos. Pues venga, empezamos. Eh, voy a borrar esto. Quieta. Stop. We go and we write a word. Prepare your pencil. Come on, we start. Write the words. I give you one minute. Or do you minuto? I give you one minute to write the words. And then we check. Y luego corregimos. And then we check. Come on, stop the video. Para el video. Stop the video. And write the, the five words, please. Well, you have finished, and now we check. Number one, ask. Number two, count. Number three, eat. Number four, hit. And number five, look for. Ask, count, eat, hit, look for. Ask. No es asco, recordáis que we ask questions. Preguntar, ask. Ask, ask me a question, please. Where is your mom? Ya me has hecho una pregunta. Cuando le dices a alguien, pregúntame una cosa. Ask me something. Eh? Ask me something. Pregúntame algo. Ask me something, please. Well, check your answer. Ya lo hemos corregido. Y seguimos. Aquí tenemos que hacer un poquito de read, leer, and mime. Mime significa hacer mímica. Read a mime or do. Lee. Y haz mímica o hazlo. You have the A student and the B student. A person o B person. Dos personas, la A y la B. Mira, vamos a empezar a leer juntos. Ask your friend's name. Ask your friend's name. Ask, preguntar. ¿Os acordáis? Pues, ¿qué será? Pregunta el nombre de tu amigo. Ask your friend's name. You don't have a friend at home. No tienes amigo en casa. But you have a dad. You have a mom. Okay? Or a brother or sister. So you ask your mom or your dad's name. Le dices a mamá. Mom, what's your name? Dad, what's your name? Y ya lo has hecho. Ya lo has cumplido. Y ya le pones un tic de que lo has hecho bien. Ya lo has preguntado. ¿De acuerdo? Cuidado. Le podemos poner un tic. Cuando lo hayamos conseguido y lo hayamos preguntado. Si lo he hecho bien. Que vosotros sé que sois muy buenos, hacéis toma, hecho. 
Si le has preguntado a tu mamá, what's your name? O a tu papá, what's your name? And the answer is, I'm Carlos, I'm Cristóbal, I'm Pedro, I'm José. Well, number two, count the desks in the class. Count the desks in the class. Cuenta los desks, los pupitres, in the class. We don't have a class. This is very difficult. It's very difficult because we don't have class. We are not in class. Como no estamos en clase, este no lo podemos hacer. Fuera, no lo podemos hacer. Eat a sandwich. Eat a sandwich. Yes, eat a sandwich. You can mind. Esto lo podemos hacer, como lo podemos hacer de varias maneras. Lo vamos a hacer como mímica. ¿Vale? Eat a sandwich. Eat a sandwich. Eat a banana. Eat a chocolate bar. ¿Mm? Que dependiendo de lo que te comas, te lo puedes eh, eh, lo hacen mímica. Lo hemos hecho mímica de eat a sandwich. ¿Mm? Hit your desk. Hit your desk. What is hit? Golpear. Eh, control. Control your emotions. Contrólate tus emociones. No le vayas a dar un golpetazo y tu madre te va a regañar. ¿eh? O tu padre. Hit your desk. Hit your desk. Ya le he dado yo un golpecito, ¿vale? Come on, mime it. Hacer mímica de eso. Hit your desk. Look for a red pen. Look for... Este ya lo hemos hecho, que no lo hemos puesto un tic. Este también. Look for a red pen. Busca. Look for a red pen. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, here it is. Here it is. A red pen. So I have found. I have found a red pen. A, a red pen. So I put a tick. Okay. Now we continue with the second part. The, the, the B. Ask your friend age. Ask your friend's age. Cuidado. Me están diciendo the age. La edad. Ya no le puedo decir what's your name. ¿Qué tendría que decirle? Eso es. How old are you? How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? How old are you? I'm 49. How old are you? I'm 6. Uh, I'm 7. How old are you? En esta preguntamos what's your name. Y en esta preguntamos how old are you? What's your name? How old are you? Si te responde bien tu papá, eh, le ponemos... Bueno, perdón, perdón. Cuidado. Tú le preguntas esto a tu padre y tu padre te pregunta esto a ti o tu madre, ¿de acuerdo? Es decir, cada uno hace un papel. Si no sabe papá, pues le preguntas tú todo, ¿vale? Le preguntas tú el A y el B, ¿entendido? Porque normalmente lo haríamos, esto lo haría un compañero y esto lo haría, por ejemplo, esto lo hace Lucía Muelas y esto lo haría, ¿qué te puedo decir yo? Eh, pues a lo mejor Marta Galeana. Y ella le pregunta, Lucía le preguntaría a Marta y luego Marta le preguntaría a Lucía, ¿vale? Dice, count the chairs in the class. Count the chairs in the class. Cuenta las sillas en la clase. Count the chairs in the class. No lo podemos hacer. Ah, well, but we can count the chairs in the, in the dining room or in the living room. Pero podemos contar las sillas del salón o de la salita. Pues sí, 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 este sí vale. Lo hacemos y las contáis. You count the chairs in the class. Lo hacemos. You have five, five. For example, this is you have one, two, three, four. I have four, four chairs, eh? four chairs in my room. Eh? In my room, in this room, I have four chairs. Hmm? Eat a banana. Vamos a hacer mímica. Eat a banana. You peel, you peel the banana and you eat it. Hit your chair. Hit, golpea tu.